Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't done a plan with me video in so long, so today's video is going to be a collab with Erica G Designs, or she used to be called from Brains to Beauty here on YouTube, and she's been my longtime friend here, and we decided to do this collab, and also there will be a giveaway on our Instagrams. I'll have a link down below. Her shop just turned one, and I am super, super proud. So this week, we are using a kit from her shop. It's called Written Beauty. This is her anniversary kit, and I think I heard this in her plan with me last week that... This does remind her of from being a beauty blogger to turn into a sticker shop and I totally agree that uh, I can't, I don't know how to explain it but the typewriter, the scissors, the typewriter just reminds me of blogging back then too because I also started as a blogger so it's just it's just a beautiful kit so i think this is still in our shop so i will have that link down below and also again our instagram pages i i bought this one but then she also sent me the book nerd i think it's called kit i'm just looking at it right on my desk right now but i will be saving that one so as usual i will be starting with my washi my bottom washi i i have this in removable mat so I am really bad at bottom washi. Doesn't have to be any washi. It's just I'm totally bad with it. So this is really, really helpful. So I haven't done a plan with me in forever. And the reason behind that is that the start of the year, I actually moved into a happy planner because I wanted something that I didn't have to use kits. And I wanted to save my Erin Condren in case I wanted to do plan with me's with you guys. So that's why I haven't done any plan with me's. But the vlogs are officially back. I had to stop the vlogs when I went to Florida because I couldn't. I tried to vlog daily there, but for some reason it just didn't make sense when I edited it. So there were a few vlogs that was Florida featured, I guess. But then. I didn't upload the rest, but regular vlogs are back, so those are also linked down below if you guys are interested on watching Pam Lee vlogs. But um, I want to talk about the kit. Now, there's a reason why um, I think she also talked about this in her video, in Erica's video, that the thing with removable mat, they're amazing because, you know, when you make mistakes, you want to take them out. Um, you know, they're removable, but the adhesive is so light that you just take it out once and then it's really really hard for it to come back down and it starts peeling in the corners and I had just taken it once and I had that problem but it wasn't a big issue at all because there's so many stickers that it helps it lay flat again so it wasn't such a big deal but um, for my layout this will be a both white space and no white space so for the first two i think the two top the top one and then the bottom boxes i mean in the middle the middle <laughs> the middle boxes will be filled like no white space at all and then i am doing something different when it comes to the weekend because the big weekend um the big double boxes are there now so i wanted to do something different um so instead of regular um, headers I was gonna put I'm planning to put glitter headers so I kind of color blocked this and I didn't think about that when I was peeling off the headers because I thought that they were all the same words I wasn't paying attention yesterday was so blur but <clears throat> I filmed this and it was just weird because it was super cloudy and that's why it's a bluish tone I don't know why my camera is shaking so much, but that's what happened with this camera. So anyways, um, this is what I was saying about the weekend header. Now, I kept repositioning this because I wasn't happy with the position, so that's that's why it's like that. But um, I'm keeping the weekend with a little bit of white space because the full boxes, I love it so much and I wanted to use it, but I sacrificed a lot of writing space. So for the full boxes, I still kind of did some color blocking so the first box you see there's a little bit of black so I put it on Monday and then for Valentine's of course I used the red and there's a little bit of peach in there but it was more dominant red and then the lighter colors went with the gray and I did the same thing for the rest of the days.
So I was also planning to let you guys know that the spring box, our seasonal box, is coming back March 1st. And everybody on my Facebook group are going to get first dibs because I think a lot of the people that purchased before are already in the Facebook group. So before the, the Instagram people even sees it or everywhere else, the Facebook group gets the link first. So if you guys were interested on buying the spring box, a preview is already up now in the shop and that will show you the theme if you want that and then there's also a few shops that are featured um coffee monsters co and Arya's daydream just to name a few there's at least two more shops that i will be featuring in the box as always and i am so excited for this one because it's a little bit different than my last few boxes i am redesigning the kits just like a little bit like it's reformatted a little differently so hope that made sense and again I will have those link down below so for the bottom boxes um, instead of me putting all the little things in there I decided to also color block because the colors are so vibrant that I wanted to do color blocking and I rarely do that so I just put some of the half boxes quarter boxes and also the little things um, stickers and alternate them because I already went through the week so I kind of know what's going on I'm filming this on the 19th and for example on Wednesday I put two gray little things there so I'm gonna end up covering those with some chibis or my munchkins and just write what I need to do which you will see in in a few minutes I just love that it's removable because when I do these kind of like stacking them, I, I'm so OCD when it comes to the white lines that I, it needs to be straight. So I saved this full box for my sidebar because I think she was the biggest one. Like you can see the full view of the girl and I love her. She's adorable. And I placed down washi and put the work header over it just so that it gives me more space. And I end up doing the same with another label and it's for to buy this week because I have a ton of things to buy including paper and ink and lots of um, shop supplies basically. <laughs> so I ended up using the work header on this one. So yeah, as you can see, I peeled it again because I forgot to do the washi which I ended up doing anyways, but I I normally wouldn't care because I would like to use the space, but I was spacing them out that I had to take it out. So right now in my planner, the to buy header is coming off because that's the issue with mat removable. Once you move it, it comes off easily. So I suggest you guys do pick your battles because if it's down you just gotta leave it down so to buy I ended up using um, her my leftover ombre heart checklist and it's the gray one and I just like the lighter because there's already red black um, so close to the sidebar so that made sense to my head in my head that the color scheme would be like that and then just to top it off I need a habit tracker I use a habit tracker for Edna for her reading if she read every single day because she's required to read 20 minutes every single day um, for her school. And then in the bottom, I just place this really, really skinny washi. I'm glad that Erica does this in her kit that she gives you variety of sizes. So that's what I put in the bottom and it just ended up measuring the same with the bottom washi. So this is my little barrel, my laundry barrel. She is looking very happy doing homework. Not homework, laundry. <laughs> what am I saying? And then the other one is lazy day barrel because this morning it was just tough. Like Sunday morning was just tough for me. I just like laid there and watched a Britney Spears biopic. And then it's editing day. So I use one of Erica's little laptop with, I think it's a YouTube triangle. So that worked out so well.
filming day for me so I ended up using a filming munchkin and then I'm just adding like little bits and pieces of the corner boxes and the decorative like icons that she has like happy mail and things because I did get happy mail from KPL plans um, Wednesday so that was my functional planner that was my happy planner I moved there earlier this year and I have been so happy like I barely do stickers on there and when I do it's only like my munchkins or chibis and things like that and there's no full boxes or checklists it's all pen so if you guys want to see what I've been doing on there let me know in the comments or like this video um, so Valentine's Day put more munchkins I just added munchkins in this part of the video because again it's not complete without munchkins favorite munchkins are these tacos, pizza, and the car ones because I use those a lot. So Saturday, I did get my nails done, so I have not used a time sticker, I don't think, ever. So I was glad that I was able to use that. And this is what my planner looks like with everything written in. I feel like it was such a busy week. It was, in my opinion, <laughs> really. But I love that I didn't get to use up the full box of space because it's just such a pretty pretty paper and I don't want to use it so these are what's left of the kids there's so many stickers I could really do another spread with these um, and with a no white space I could really get away with it so I barely use any of the solid washi I still have one on my heart checklist and then a habit tracker three full boxes and the sampler so yeah this is the kit i hope you guys check out erica's video thank you so much for collabing with me erica and congratulations on your shop's one year anniversary i am so so proud of you and i can't wait to see what else is there to come but yeah i hope you guys check out erica's video it will be linked down below and thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye